Hello everybody, so in this video, I'm gonna show you how to download and install FreeCam for Minecraft Java. So, let's get started. The first thing you wanna do is go to your web browser, and I will have links in the description if you need them. But here, all you wanna do is go to your search bar, and you wanna search up modwinf, like so. Here, you'll find modwinf.com, just click on modwinf, and then you'll be on the modern homepage. From there, all you want to do is go to discover content on the top of the website, and then you have to go down to mods. Now, all you want to do is go to search mods, and you want to search up free cam like so, and here you'll find free cam right here. Just click the mod name, and this will bring you to the free cam modern homepage. So here, all you want to do is go to versions, and from there, you want to go to game versions and you want to choose what Minecraft Java version you want to play. I'm going to choose the latest one they have here. And here we will be using Fabric, so make sure you see Fabric here for your version. So now just click the green download button. And you now have FreeCam downloaded. Although you do need dependencies, so all you want to do is go to the version name here for FreeCam. And from there, all you want to do is go ahead and scroll down and you'll find some dependencies here. So here we have Fabric API for example. And this is required, and these ones are optional, and this one is embedded, so it is already in the mod. So here we just go on Fabric API in this case, and now you want to go to versions, and then you want to go to game versions, and you want to make sure the version you select here matches your free cam version. So here I select this version, and here we have our game version for Fabric, of course, and just click the green download button. And you now have Fabric API as well. So once you have the two mods, all you want to do is go to a new tab and then you have to go ahead and go to your search bar and then you have to search up Fabric Minecraft, like so, so Fabric Minecraft and here you'll find Fabric net. just click on Fabric and then you'll be on the Fabric homepage. From there, all you want to do is go to the blue download button and then you have to go to the blue download for Windows button right here. And from there, you're going to have all of these here. So all you want to do here is simply go ahead and minimize or close your web browser and from there you want to go to your file explorer to access your downloads folder. Here all you want to do is find the fabric installer. You want to double click the fabric installer and from there all you want to do is for the Minecraft version here, this is important, you want this to match whatever mod version you chose for fabric API and freecam. So for me it was the latest one here, the 1.20.5. And once you're done, just click the install button. So here we now have installed successfully here, fabric loader. So all you want to do is click OK and close. Here all you want to do now is go to the Minecraft launcher. And from there, you'll be able to add fabric API and free cam to the mods folder. So what this means is that basically, here we have fabric loader. This means we have a mods folder. And to access that folder, you want to go to installations here at the top of the launcher. And then you want to go to Fabric Loader, and then you, you want to go to the folder icon here. Now you are in the .minecraft files. So from there, you want to find a mods folder somewhere, and then you want to double click it. From there, all you want to do is go to Downloads. Then you, you want to select and copy the two mods of Fabric API and FreeCam. And then you want to go to the top left arrow to go back to your previous folder to click Paste. And now you have copy pasted Fabric API and FreeCam in .minecraft mods. So make sure you have this layout here. And if you do, you can go back to the Minecraft launcher, you can go to play, make sure Fabric Loader is selected, and click play. And now you have to wait for Minecraft to open up automatically. Okay, so once you have Minecraft here, you can go to a single player world, you can also go to a server or a realm, but FreeCam is technically not a Vanilla feature, so you might have some different opinions of these two here, but it also works on both as well. So we'll just go to a single player world just to get started here. And basically, to use FreeCam, you need to do a couple things. So number one, here we have a Minecraft world. Again, this does work on multiplayer if you really want to. But the idea here is that basically, what you want to do, you want to go to your options for your keybinds. So you want to go to escape. Here you want to go to options. You want to go to controls, then you want to go to keybinds, and from there all you want to do is go ahead and scroll to the bottom where all the mods are, and here we have our free cam here. So here we have some things like so which are not bound, this is why I showed you this, 
but you can see that free cam button here is F4. So for example, if you want to change this, you can put something like H for example, for me it's not taken. If it was taken like an A for example, it will not work here. So here for example, if we want to have H for toggle, and for example, here we have config GUI, we can also activate this by finding something which is not taken like J, and you can do done. So now if we go back to Minecraft, you will see that we have no more gameplay, but we can use H for example to have free cam like so. And as you can see, we are really going really quickly. So it is quite hard to control if you want to take like some picture or something. So what you can do is go to J and here we have some other options like key binding here. We have movements like flight mode here. We can go ahead and make this nice and low to make this nice and simple like so. And now if we do save and quit, we now fly a bit slower and it helps align ourselves to our character a bit easier as well. So yeah, you can look into this, but that's basically how we get free cam working. So yeah, that's how we do this. So in today's video, I showed you how to download and install free cam for Minecraft Java. If you liked today's video, make sure to like and subscribe and see you for the next one. Bye.